It's almost too much to believe. No girls in one family for 132 years, from Nellie here in 1886 through all these boys until we get to Evie this spring. Tonight on Only in Indiana, our Kevin Rader and John Duong shows you how the Stockwell family finally broke the curse. The Stockwell household is bustling with activity. After all, with two boys, Eric age four, Michael age two, it kind of goes with the territory. And while these two may not fully grasp it yet, they're carrying on a very unusual family tradition. Well, it's jokingly referred to as the Stockwell curse, amongst the women at least. And it's easy to understand why. The last girl we had was Nellie, and she was born in 1886, 132 years ago. Here she is in a rare old family photo. She's the second one from the right, the last girl born in the Stockwell family 132 years ago. Uh, that picture really drives home how long ago 132 years is. <laughs> Here's an old picture of Bob when he was a child with his brother who didn't have any children. Bob had four, and of course, all boys. From generation to generation, the Stockwells just kept up the family tradition. If we had been royalty, it would have been very easy for us to maintain the royal lineage because we're just boys, boys, boys. And so I thought, okay, one, two, three, four, five, we're on that boy streak. And so you don't even sort of think you're going to get a girl when you've just had that many boys in the family. Who can blame them? After all, Grover Cleveland was dedicating the Statue of Liberty the last time the Stockwell family welcomed a newborn baby girl into this world. Who is this? Evie. Evie. Until now. Little Evie broke that curse May 25th, and the entire family couldn't be happier. Once it dawned on me that it was a girl, I just started shaking, and it was crazy. Then they took her away to weigh her and stuff, and I still didn't quite believe it until they brought her back the second time. <laughs> but uh, I did. I did. <laughs> Happy tears, for sure. My mom didn't know, and I was like, have you been told? And she said, no. And I was like, well, you have a baby granddaughter, and then she kind of screamed and cried a little bit. I think I just screamed and cried and thought, oh my gosh, I just can't believe. I texted my brothers and told them that we had a baby girl and none of them believed me. So I wasn't scared of the curse, but then uh, after we had our second, I just naturally assumed number three would also be a boy and I'd be a full-scale boy mom, but uh, got quite a surprise on. So now the Stockwells have a little pink to go with all that blue. Yeah. So. It was exciting and we're loving it. And I've never shopped in the girl aisles before, so this is a new experience for me. It was awesome. I, I would have absolutely loved a boy, no question. But now that I have a girl, I'm starting to notice little girls and think about all the fun stuff that we're going to be able to do together. And it's really exciting. So you've ended the curse. I know. Broke the curse. <laughs> I'm going to hiccups. Who knows? Maybe this will be the start of a new streak over the next hundred years. Of all, girl. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.